Mutiki to have confidence moving forward. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The At motion is that the sorry, the question is that the motion be agreed to. I call Te Tu Te Tu Te Haunuku Koraku. Kiora e te mana fakawa. A ko te nei piri uh, na naitai ki tamaki claim settlement bill. Noreira e tuku mihi uh, ki na uri o hui kaiwaka o tara o te rirangi. O na tūpuna kato o naitai e noho ana koutou ki te whenua tapu, tau whenua, a tāhua hoki ki maritai, a uh, tūmai te whare e nunu mā runga o te marae o Umapuhia, Norera, e koutou rā o nga rakatira o te iwi o naitai ki tāmaki, nā mihi, nā mihi, nā mihi. E te mana whakawā, we are now at the working end of the treaty settlement process for naitai ki tāmaki. And I had the privilege actually when I was chairing the Māori Affairs Select Committee uh, as we considered the settlement for night time. And I also have the privilege uh, to remain a member of that committee with the change of government. And on that note, I'd like to acknowledge our chair of the Māori Affairs Select Committee, Reno Teddy Kartney, uh, for his chairmanship of our committee. And also to acknowledge the former Minister of Treaty of Waitangi Negotiations, uh, the Honourable Christopher Finlinson, who has been very much at the forefront of so many uh, of these settlements. E te mana whakawā, it uh, indeed was a privilege to sit at the Select Committee hearings as we worked through the settlement uh, with Naitai ki Tāmaki. And just to uh, reiterate again, particularly because the previous speaker, the Honourable Calvin Davis, actually gave us very much an overview uh, of the journey of this particular settlement. And I want to actually just put some more context into what uh, he was actually saying. So first of all, yes, we did. We received and considered 13 submissions, and as well as hearing oral evidence uh, from six submitters at the hearings in uh, Tamaki Makoto and also Te Whanganui Atara. Now, there are a number of sort of critical features to this settlement uh, that came, came up uh, during the submission process. And the first one, and it's so often the case um, in treaty settlements, and that is actually around overlapping claims. And over, the overlapping claim situation did actually obviously arise uh, in this particular settlement. Um, Ngāti Wai is um, concerned, really, that the settlements to Ngāi Tamaki that fall within their shared area of interest may in Impact on Ngāti Wai discussions with the Crown uh, at future dates. But can I first acknowledge for, uh, the shared in area of interest and Ngāti Wai's position? Because having had to deal with overlapping claims, we know them so well, even within our own iwi of, uh, of Kaitahu, but I'm well aware of the concerns that arise and the impact, actually, the real impact, on actual relationships. In this particular settlement, um, we actually saw that in some ways. And we know that it's never easy for the Crown to manage these in treaty negotiations. And indeed, we often find ourselves looking at sort of something like they call Solomon's choice. But accordingly, um, I think we need to take reassurance, though, from the Office of Treaty Settlements with this particular settlement, in that the agreements to amend the protocol areas, they could be implemented without an amendment to the bill uh, in front of the House today. And so can I also probably possibly suggest, humbly, um, that Naitaiki Tamaki and Ngāti Wai share a history, they share a history of, uh, of whakapapa that sees them in a really strong position to establish protocols amongst themselves that may not actually require the Crown. So, you know, instead of having the Crown being involved in trying to sort out um, these overlapping issues, I think it's um, listening to the submitters, there is some real uh, opportunity, I believe, and particularly because of the whakapapa links between um, Naitai and also Ngāti Wai, that they could perhaps work them through in that 
wonderful process that we have of tikaka. So the next part of it I want to come to, so we have overlapping claims, which was an issue that came up. The next one is around the commercial redress. And the commercial redress, uh, redress has been sort of quite a bit of, there's been a quite a bit of concern from Naitaiki Tamaki. And, you know, we've had to consider a claim for damages from the Crown as a consequence of the two-year gap. So there's been a two-year gap, actually, between the signing of the deed of settlement and then the introduction of this bill into the House in August 2017. But what should be noted is that the value of the uh, DSP sale in the leaseback and the RFR properties has actually exceeded the settlement quantum. And in doing that, um, you know, that, ex that excess there um, sort of cuts through the settlement since day one. So equally, the purchase of those properties by Naitaiki Tamaki, they will have a strategic and commercial advantage to the iwi that many other outsiders of Tamaki Makoto will actually gaze at and look at and envy. So Naitai then have already shown themselves to be really astute commercial operators. We've actually seen that. And I have no doubt that they will actually have the potential as JV partners at, at their doorstep looking to assist the iwi in realising the opportunities that they have before. And no doubt the advance, because there's been an advance actually on this particular settlement of 5.5 million uh, of settlement funds, which will have been put to good commercial use, which we know, and then also offset any rise in the capital value. So, sorry, delivering the financial returns that should then offset the rise in the capital values of the commercial redress properties, and that's pretty much relatively speaking. Equally, I'm mindful of the, uh, the Muzak Point, or as it's called now, Te Naupata. And as it, um, there is actually a big opportunity there as well. So this is an interesting offer that has been accepted by Naitaiki Tamaki in its settlement package. And I acknowledge that there is this thing that always comes up again in uh, treaty settlements, and it's called perpetual leases. And so these perpetual leases, um, you know, they really do present a challenge to all iwi, not just Naitaiki Tamaki, but all iwi. So these protect, uh, the, 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 the perpetual leases that have been the bane of many iwi, iwi as I said, um, Naitaiki Tamaki is no different. So I have no doubt that Naitai will have a plan as to how to work with the leaseholder to realise the full value of the opportunity they have before them. So when we look then at the Homestead Drive property on Mongarei, um, that's very, very challenging as we know. But Naitaiki Tamaki acknowledge its Pakafanoka links to the, uh, uh, the Maru Tuahu uh, Collective and broadly works within them. So, and looking at um, that particular issue, and then also the concerns that have been raised um, around the quantum itself. Now, we know in treaty settlements, um, you know, looking through the history of treaty settlements, iwi would never, ever receive the full compensation that they actually should get. It's more uh, cents in the dollars as opposed to dollars. And this particular claim, I want to also note, is no exception either. So what we need to acknowledge too is that at the, uh, the, this settlement is not the end, but the beginning of this iwi. And it's been a very, very long road. Um, overlapping claims, um, there has been commercial quantums, perpetual leases, but in saying that, this particular claim, I hope, um, will be able to be, um, uh, find its journey to the end, committee stage to the third reading. And I wish Naitaiki Tamaki, and I see some of the uh, rakatira actually in the gallery today. And I wish you well, particularly once we can continue this journey uh, through to the end and the final settlement um, that you wholeheartedly deserve uh, as an iwi. So on that note, uh, 
Itamanofakawa, I really do take pleasure in um, saying to Naitai, Kia kaha, Kia kaha, Kia maya. Nō reira e koutou rā, e mihi atu ki a koutou katoa, and I commend this bill to the House. Madam Chair. I call Reno Tirakatini. Atena koe, Madam Chair, and I too uh, stand. Uh